In this video, we are going to see how to connect XAM server with Eclipse ID. For this, you have to install XAM server. So, let's just go after installation. You just have to search XAM control panel. You just need to start the Apache server and then start the MySQL. Please note here, I am using the port number as 3307. Your default port number will be 3306. Okay. Now, our localos PHP MyAdmin will redirect you to the main page of your MySQL. First, I am going to create my own database. You can have any name here. I am going to use testdb. Okay. Now, click this. Privileges. And then, as you can see, we are going to create a database. Here, testdb is created. There are no tables here. We can also create table with columns going here in SQL editor. You can create the SQL statements or query here. But I am not going to show you this. In this video, we are just going to connect XAM with SQL with my Eclipse IDE. Now, let me show you how to create a user. This is a home page. As you can see, database SQL user accounts. Here, I am going to create my user, my own user. So, go to new, add a user. You can have any username. I am going to use Ranko. And his host name, you can use this modulus operator but I am going to give localhost and then my password ranko123 you have to retype it here we have created a user you have to grant all the privileges like select insert and update I am going to give all the privileges rules I am going to create ranko as an administrator ok now click to go down and click go like to complete here is my user it's a weak password as you can see ok now we have to click if you want to finish this we have to go down so that we can complete this as you see here so my user is created never as you can see user account ranko created now let's go to eclipse and create the connection for this you have to just i'm just going to create a class first and then show you the connection how we can connect the data source so i'm going to have a class name any name you can use I am going to show you a JDBC example here. I am going to use my specific package. ORG pack. Inside this pack, there will be a class. After this, let's go and search for data source. So for this, I am going to write a main method. Okay, let's save this. This is my project. Go to Windows show view here is the data source explorer if you're not getting this go and search this is my data source right click new then add the database i'm going to use mysql then click on next don't change any my like new mysql you can have any name for that as well here are the driver just install the driver go and select 
the database mysql driver here if you click it as you can see the name and type comes we can also have our own driver name so i'm going to remove i'm just going to go with mysql now double click now go to jar as we need to add the jars here as you this is a default 4.4 point bin jar so go to add jar in previous videos in jdbc tool i have shown you how to download a jar i have already downloaded mysql jar c i am going to use 31 click on the jar and open it okay just remove the 4 point bin this this jar i am going to use it you have to remove this and select this the ok button will be there ok here you can see the default configuration is shown here when we have installed the driver I am going to use the database name as my schema name as this, that is test db here you can have any database name I am just using test db so let go let's go to the eclipse and write the database name as test db and second we have to change my url uh, as you know my user is ranko here the database is test here the schema names come the schema name is test db test db and also the port number this is the database you can have any name this is my schema name and then my port number as you know my port number is 3307 here if you want you can go and check here 3307 okay now write the password as i said ranko123 was my password i am just we can just use this and test the connection here itself i test connection and then you can see pinged it's pinged successfully so i have established a connection here and you can finish your setup if you want to see all the description is there then you can finish the setup now and then let's create this is my test db which database i have created you can also add mariadb for new for your new mysql as well so let me just create a simple jdbc code to show you that my connection is established with the url with mysql zam server so as you know class dot for name here we are going to register the driver com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc driver this line is for registering the driver if we if we don't specify it this line so we are going to get an error class not found okay sorry let me just write it properly this is my register the driver okay we will get an exception as you know because we don't have java doesn't have this driver so we can throw the exception class not found exception i am going to add this driver as well here i will show you and then Connection is an interface. You can have any reference. I'm going to use con as equals to. Then I'm going to use a class like driver manager, which will have the URL, password, and everything. So driver manager or get connection is a static method. Here we have to specify three things. First, it it will take the URL, and the second will be username and password. This is this will be my URL, and then the username ranko and my password ranko123 so let me just complete the url so as as you know we have to give the local host host name which was there in my xamp server so for this for java we have to write jdbc colon mysql colon localhost and then we have to use after localhost we have to use a port number as you know my port number as you have seen my port number is 3307 here port number and the schema name here 3307 and the schema name was test db ok 
let me just get rid of the errors System dot out dot print again, and then connection established. Okay, there is an error. I have forgot to write the semicolon. Let me just go and complete the statement. Now there is an exception. Just throw the exception, like SQL exception. Save your file, and then. Right click and then execute this. Right click, run as run Java application. Okay, as you know, I have told you I have not added the driver. Okay, so right click on your project, go to build path, search for build path, configure build path in modular path, add external jars. I have already downloaded the jar. In my previous JDBC lectures, I have shown you how to download the jars. So apply and close. And then I am going to again run run a Java application here. As you can see, connection is established. Thank you.